gotta love the all-star festivities always a great show we'll be back to get this thing started after this live from arlington texas mlb the show brings you the mlb all-star game it's the american league all-stars and the national league all-stars Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Singy, always special when we get together to call the All-Star Game. Well, we've done a lot of these together, and sometimes you come in and think, ho-hum, another year. But once you look and you see these All-Star players, their uniforms on, them interacting with one another, you realize just how special it is. It's going to be a great one tonight. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And towing the slab, Spencer Strider. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Here is Marcus Simeon. Strider's a guy known for his velocity. He can bring it, but that wasn't always the case. Coming back from an injury in college, Strider was throwing 94 to 96 miles per hour boog when the Braves drafted him. Now he lights up the radar gun with triple-digit speeds. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And here's Corey Seager to hit. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. One out, base is empty. That one way inside. And there's a ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Ground ball right side. And that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. That is good. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. One gone runner at first. And now the center fielder, Mike Trout. Two balls, one strike. Seeger leads off first with one away. And another ball. Three, one. Three. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. 3-2. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Oh, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That one miss. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. You're Don Alvarez. Up next for the American League. Runners at first and second with one gone. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Okay. Hammer down the line. Base hit. Around third. One runs in, the relay to the plate, the tag out. 
The base runner did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time player cut down a run. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. And the righty deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Good no, eye right there. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. That settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. A run on two hits and they leave one. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. The AL leads it one to nothing. And we're back. And today's starter, Shane McClanahan. Well, a pretty standard four-pitch mix. He's got the fastball, change speeds, two breaking balls. You know, all can be really effective if they're coming out of the same arm slot and really staying in that tunnel for a good bit. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. The 2 2 now. That one drilled left field. Fair ball! And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat. And that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Here's Mookie Betts now. Next offering upstairs. Man at second. That Whoa. misses the zone. And now it's three and Whoa, two. Yeah. And down on strikes he goes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And a pitch. That one's in there. That is strike two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Got him. Two down. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non issue. Here's Nolan Arenado. Man on second, two down. And another ball. Two one. the 2 1 this one chopped on the ground but foul the 
the 2 2. Just oh, no. missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Luis arrives up next. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So they work around the leadoff double. We head to the second in Arlington. It's a lead for the American League. One to nothing. Top of the second. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. The left fielder, Randy Arozarena. The pitch. Ball. And that's outside. Now three and one. Right through there for a strike. And boy, that was the push. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Got him swinging. One gone here. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Yandy Diaz now. One down, base is empty. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Young now at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. So now one and two. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Outside low. And it's two and two. Blind into right. Betts makes the play, and it's out number three. One, two, three goes the AL. But they still lead it one nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Young puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That is good. The designated hitter. J.D. Martinez stands in. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. And a base hit up the middle. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Man at first with one gone. Next to hit, Sean Murphy. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. That's out number two. Batting it. From the Atlanta Braves, the shortstop. Orlando. Here's Orlando Arcia. Arcia. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. A Rosarena brings it in for the third out. One left for the National Leaguers, and it remains 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning at the play. Jonah Heim. The 
Hawaii to kick the pitch. And another ball. Right hander kicks deals. Out there to center. Acuna there. Brings it in. One up, one down. No matter. Number two. Second baseman. Marcus. So the lineup flips over. Digging Simeon. in. Marcus Simeon. Strider out there on the mound for this one, and he's a guy who had a really impressive college career, That's but needed right. Tommy John surgery while playing for Clemson. One down, base is empty. You know, Boog, Strider spent time with a sports psychologist at Clemson while rehabbing from his surgery. They talked a lot about the concept of purpose and the importance of having a defined goal for everything you do. You know, it's something Strider now preaches himself. Sneaks through, base hit. So, man aboard. Now, here is Corey Seager. And the right hander deals outside. Here's a two one. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Two outs. And yeah, that's outside. And it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Wouldn't chase that time. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. And brings it in at the wall. Ale leaves one, but they're on top, one nothing. This one in the air right field and there's one down maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. he is quite an athlete I mean you look around the other sports basketball football you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too fouls one off two and two And another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Now it's Mookie Betts. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. Now this is in the air down the line. Judge makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Three innings complete. The American Leaguers on top. One to nothing. Out of the fourth, and now it's going to be Aaron Judge. The right fielder, 
He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. Uh. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a swing to miss. <laughs> Judge rips that one. Betts drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter. Here's Jordan Alvarez. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Swings and misses. Now one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a two out double. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And it's second here with two away. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Runner takes off. Pitch misses. And now a wide throw to third. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump. And that's how you steal third base. And a big swing and a miss. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Slings the first. That's out number three. American League strands one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back in Arlington. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The first baseman. Freddie. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. A wind and a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is, hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Here's Nolan Arenado. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth.
up and in ball two. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Luis Arise stands in. And the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Judge is there. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And we're back. Leading Top five, off. John Shabby with Chris Lee. Singleton. And leading it off, Josh Young. Josh. Young. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. That was straight queso right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And Acuna able to make the grab. Number two, second baseman. Marcus. Back to the top of the lineup. Marcus Simeon digs in now. That's in there, and the count is one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And another ball. In the air, center field. Acuna after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is J.D. Martinez. That one in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. There's a strike. And a pitch. And now it's three and two. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit in the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Here's Sean Murphy. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. That one clips the outside corner. One and two. On the ground to third, and that one finds its way through. The batter, number five. Runner on at first with one gone. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And fouled off.
2 2 now. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Two on, one out. Here's the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Swing and a miss. Two and two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters. And more recent years but with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate having a good grip on the baseball those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising even though they're not but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Murphy at second Arcia on a first with two down a little bit high. Now two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. At the belt and fires. Line drive, base hit. Murphy, rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score and they tie it. It's 1-1. One, one. So two down. Here's Mookie now. Runners on first and third. Two away. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Top of the sixth inning. Seeger stands in now. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Carroll moving under it. One down. The center fielder, number 27. Here's Mike Trout. Mike. Great speed Trout. and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. All tied up, and we're the top half of the sixth. To third. Sends it to first, and there's two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Aaron Judge at the plate. Outside low. And that's ball three. Movement in the bullpen. Corbin Burns getting loose out there. Diaz warming up as well. Two outs. Foul ball and it remains a full count. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Part of the order, three, four, five coming up. All tied, one, one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Pablo Lopez. So 
So digging in, Freddie Freeman. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And right back to the mound. Gets it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. Now batting. Third baseman. Nolan Arenado. So here's the cleanup hitter. Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So up next, Luis Arias. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. One, two. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And another ball. And a good eye there. J.D. Martinez on deck for the National League. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Out towards right center field, Judge getting an angle on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So they go quietly there. Seventh inning coming up, all tied, 1-1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Corbin Burns. And now your Don Alvarez. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Here's a one two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. One down, base is empty. And it finds its way through for a hit. Everything came together for him. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Burns with a move to first. The Rosarena dives back. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Swings through that one for strike two. One, two. Right handed reliever. Got him swinging. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Josh Young. Ball 
the 1 1. Runner on the goal. Cut on and miss. Throw to second. He's safe. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Arcia under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. All tied, 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH, J.D. Martinez. The pitch. Bounce to the right side. And he grabs it. Foul. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So here's Murphy now. The catcher. John Murphy. The 2 1. And ball there's the ball. Yeah. Swings through that one. All tied up here at the bottom of the seventh. Struck him out looking. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. as we have a pinch hitter to lead it off. Bovichet, he represents the go-ahead run. Next offering misses, and now three and one. And a pitch. On the ground. And that one handled. Jump throw. Not in time. He's safe. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. The AL bringing on a pinch runner, Bobby Witt Jr. So the batting order turns over. Now it's Marcus Simeon. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. With the go-ahead run at first, and we're in the top of the eighth. Runner on the goal. Fall off foul. The pitch. Stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. 2-2 now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Sp 
Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Burns with a move to first. And he's back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Now it's Corey Seager. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And that is that. So coming into the game now on defense, Adley Rutschman. He takes over behind the plate. Now the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Well, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Left-hand hitter waits. Ground ball up the middle. Simeon on the run, throw to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And another ball. Base is empty one away. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just missed. Mookie Betts in the on-deck circle. And the right-hander's 3-1. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Mookie to hit. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. That leaves him without a throw. A tough play, and now there are runners at first and second. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Two on, one out. Falling behind two and one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. Two and one now. That's inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground, a second might be two. Off-balance feed, there's one. And that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. All set to start the ninth in this one, and now batting Mike Trout. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Ball. Outside low, two Ball. and two. two strike. And 
and here it comes. Full count. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Josiah Gray up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. Diaz also getting ready. Bounced out to short. Throws to first in time. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Here is Aaron Judge. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Substitution now at first base. On to pinch run, Julio Rodriguez. One down. And the batter now, you're Don Alvarez. Burns with a move to first. Rodriguez back on a dive. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And a pitch. And that is cut out and missed. One and two. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Here comes a pinch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Acuna has it sized up. Makes the grab. Now back. The left fielder. Randy. A new arm into the game. The righty, Alexis Diaz. Number 14. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base stealer. That's down and in. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. The 2 2 on the way. And another ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Yandy Diaz up next for the American League. Got it! That ends the frame. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. All tied 1-1. One, one. Now into the ball game on defense, Julio Rodriguez. He takes over and right. Henley Jansen into the game. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's the third baseman, Here Nolan Arenado. The third baseman. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. 
And the right hander deals. And he chases that one. A huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. And now here is Luis Arias. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. And a strike on the outside edge. Activity in the bullpen. George Kirby, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Estevez getting cranked up as well. And he deals. Up the middle. Nice grab. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. Oh, man, great diving play over there to prevent the winning run from reaching base. Here in the ninth inning, that's absolutely huge. You love to see that kind of play made in big moments by the defense. And now J.D. Martinez. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. to center. Trout settles under it. He makes the grab and that's the third out. Back in Arlington. We're at extras here. Now, Yandy Diaz. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Righty to the plate. Hit in the air, center field. Acuna there. And there's one down. Now batting, third baseman. Young. Young. Josh Young, the next to hit. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. And now two balls and a strike. One out. The go-ahead run is its second. And here in extra innings. Check on the runner. The Rosarena dives back. Good wheels out there on second, and he's getting a pretty big lead right now. Definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield. And a 2-1 on the way. That one down the line, and it stays fair. A Rosarito flies around third. He will score, and the American League has taken the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Just a huge at bat right there. Just found a way to slot that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent bat control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Here's Adley Rutschman. And the righty deals. Runner on the go. Throw the second tag. Out at second. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game, trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of the 10th. And no, that's inside. off the inside edge. And the count is even two and two. Action in the pen down there. Devin Williams preparing to come on if needed. Bednar getting loose as well. The pitch. Goes down looking. 
But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Carlos Estevez. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So. Sean Murphy getting ready to hit. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And he's in safely at third with one out. And here is Orlando Arcia. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, one strike. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in extra innings. Next offering is downstairs. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Swing a high fly ball left field. Two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. What's the approach in a spot with a tying run 90 feet away? Don't try to get too big. Don't swing for a home run. Let it be an accident if you hit a homer. And I tell you what, if he does, this place will go crazy. Estevez is just one strike away. Got him swinging for the K. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution. And neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. American League All-Stars. Two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. For the home team, one run on six hits. No errors. They left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we